Well hello and welcome once again to the Waters and Stanton video channel. My name is Peter Waters and I'm out in the garden at the moment, although it's quite windy so I hope there's not too much wind noise. A nice summer's morning here when I'm doing this recording in 2020, July 2020. England are playing West Indies and at the moment uh, we're in a good position. Unfortunately where they're playing further up the country they forecast rain so who knows what's going to happen. But when you're out in the garden like this you can't help thinking about antennas. You look up in the air, you look at various places to support antennas. And regular viewers of this uh, video channel will know that I'm a great fan of the end-fed half-wave. Now the end-fed half-wave is rather like Marmite. A little butterfly through passing. The end-fed uh, antenna is rather like Marmite. Some people love them, some people don't. But in my experience, the people that don't fall in love with them are the ones that probably haven't used them or at least haven't fully understood. Because an end-fed half-wave is resonant. Um, it's not a random length of wire, it's resonant. And for it to work properly, it's essential that it resonates. It resonates at its fundamental frequency, which is usually the lowest band. If we take uh, 7 megahertz, um, then a, a 7 megahertz um, half wave, which is in old money 66, 67 foot long, or roughly 20 meters, um, that will resonate on 7 megs. It will also resonate on its second harmonic, which is 14 megahertz, on the third harmonic, which is 21 megahertz, and on the fourth harmonic, which is 28 megahertz. So it creates a uh, four band antenna. Um, from basically a length of wire, no traps, and the good thing about it is that the whole antenna radiates. So there's no losses in traps in it, the whole of the antenna radiates. And the good news, well the, the bad news is that we, we, we were for some time selling um, an antenna um, called My Antennas from the USA, and for whatever reason um, the uh, supplies have completely dried up and we've tried but we just can't get any supplies. So we were chatting to our friend Scott in the USA who um, is uh, the guy that heads, <coughs> heads up in RAD and Vibroplex keys and he said well you've come to, come to me at the right time because I'm about to launch a, uh, an in-fed half-wave antenna system for the same reason that we can't get the ones that we were getting. So it makes sense if you can't if you can't uh, get what uh, you're after then make your own. Scott's produced a really nice antenna under the Vibroplex brand. Um, it's rated at one kilowatt. Uh, it's really heavy duty and uh, it's, it's the business. The first one is going to be uh, the uh, 80 through to 10 meter one. And the good news about the 80 through the 10 meter one is it will cover the warp bands as well. It won't cover 5 megs, but it will cover the warp bands. And that's because if you work it out, uh, the, the multiple of 3.5 megahertz in harmonic relationship will actually plant you pretty close to the warp bands as well as the 5 traditional bands. And if you're new to amateur radio, you may or may not have worked out that the amateur radio HF bands tend to have a harmonic relationship. Now. <laughs> I don't know the reason for this. Um, I tend to guess that probably uh, in the early days uh, the, uh, there, was, there was concern about harmonics from home-built transmitters and so forth. And so they thought if we give the amateurs harmonic related bands then the only people they're going to cause problems to are their own uh, users on the next band up. Uh, that was my, that's my take on it. I, I, whether that's true or not, I don't know. Anyway, the, uh, the first, um, the first uh, batch of um, the Vibroplex antennas has arrived in the UK, the 80 through to 10 meter one. That one is um, 132, sorry, I'm talking in old money, but that's the way I think. Uh, that is 132 foot long, which basically is what, uh, 40 meters long. Um, with NFED half waves, you you can bend them a bit. So they're not super fussy. I found in my experience that uh, if you want to bend them to get them into the garden, they're quite tolerant, um, and uh, that's one of the attractions or one of the additional attractions of them. So we shall have those antennas 
Uh, well, we've got those now. The, the 40 through to 10 metre one, which is a four band one, uh, that will be with us uh, fairly shortly. Um, but if you go on our website, look under Vibraplex, you'll find that we've already got the 80 through to 10 metre one. Really nice antenna. Uh, it's the business. It's, it's hunky, it's strong, it's going to last and it works. Now, if you're one of those that doesn't like Marmite, um, it's quite possible you don't like Marmite because you haven't tried it. <laughs> uh, the end-fed antenna half-wave is a world of difference between the random length of wire. The good thing about end-fed half-wave is that it doesn't need an antenna tuner. You can pl plug it straight into your transceiver and it's probably the easiest antenna to get going on the HF bands. So that's, that's where we are um, at the moment um, commercially. Um, but what I want to do is actually try and demonstrate to you how an antenna works harmonically. Um, if you're a newcomer, and some of these video channels we're producing are really aimed at the sort of newcomers. If you're new to uh, ham radio, um, then perhaps it's worthwhile trying to demonstrate and explain to you how an antenna can work in a harmonic fashion so that if a length of wire which is 66 or 67 foot long which resonates on 40 meters we can actually make it resonate on other bands other harmonic related bands which is good news anyway for that we need to go indoors i first came across harmonics strangely enough not in radio but in music um, many years ago when i was a youngster i was studying the violin at trinity college of music and that's when I came across the harmonic. And if on a violin you place your finger lightly halfway up the string, you actually get the harmonic. The string actually resonates and will, will actually produce a tone which is a harmonic of the fundamental. And if you place your finger a third of the way along the string, you'll get the third harmonic. Um, again, the string will resonate and it will play the third harmonic of the fundamental. Um, I can demonstrate that to you now uh, using a guitar. I haven't got a violin anymore. Uh, I've got a, an old guitar here and I can demonstrate to you um, the, uh, the way that harmonics work. And I think it's a great way of looking at harmonics because it's a physical way of looking at the way a half-wave antenna will also work on its harmonics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a guitar and I'm going to put, I need to put the microphone fairly close to it so I'll use a separate microphone because um, the harmonics are not that particularly strong. Um, so I'll place a microphone fairly close to the guitar but hopefully you'll hear the harmonics as I place my finger first of all halfway along the string which will be um, the second harmonic. So if we imagine, let's imagine that string is a 40 meter dipole. If I place my finger halfway along that string very lightly, that string will also resonate on the second harmonic. So the 40 meter antenna will also resonate on the second harmonic, which is 20 meters. And if I place my finger lightly on that string a third of the way along, it will also resonate and play the third harmonic and the third harmonic effectively divides the string in three parts and the third harmonic of seven is 21 so that will represent a 21 megahertz uh, signal which resonates the half wave um, in uh, because if effectively the half wave is divided into three sections then the, 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 the original seven megahertz antenna is now divided into three sections and it will work on the third harmonic perfectly well. Anyway, let's, let's take a look. Well, I'm not, a, I'm not a guitarist at all. I, I do know how to play harmonics, but I, I play a few chords. So there we are. Anyway, let's uh, get on to the guitar. I need to um, put my uh, uh, recorder on so I'll get fairly close in so you can hear the harmonics and uh, let's, hope it, <laughs> let's hope it all works. I'm going to use the D string on the guitar. I think I'll use the D string. 
No, not that. Mm. I'll use the G string. Right, here we are. Okay, um, this string here, the G string, imagine it as a 40 meter antenna. <laughs> You've got to have a good imagination. Imagine it as a 40 meter antenna. Um, if I play that note there, that's 40 meters. That's resonating on seven megahertz. Now, if I place my finger exactly halfway down the string, I can actually make it play the harmonic. Here we are. You hear that? That's the harmonic. That's the fundamental. That's the second harmonic. And if I move my finger, it won't. It won't resonate. As I get my finger exactly halfway along, that resonates. So that string, that antenna, resonates on seven megahertz and on twice its frequency, fourteen megahertz. Now I can also make it resonate. On the third harmonic by placing my finger a third of the way along the string which I think is around about there. There we are. Can you hear that? That's the third harmonic. That's the fundamental uh, on 7 megahertz. That's the second harmonic which is 14 megahertz. That divides the string into two and here we have 21 megahertz. The string is now divided into three, three half waves. And just to prove that, if I let's uh, if I move my finger to the other third, which is around about there, there we are. Can you hear that? Move my finger away and it won't ring. So that's harmonics. So there we are. That's uh, a. Uh a practical demonstration using music <laughs> well I'm not sure it's music anyway it's a practical demonstration of how um, a harmonic antenna works because there is a relationship between the physical sort of musical string resonating um, and the way there's an antenna uh, resonates and I hope that, that sort of demonstration will um, uh, perhaps give you a better idea of how harmonic uh, how harmonics work in, in, in respect of antennas. So, as always, thank you very much for tuning into this channel. I'm going to make myself a well, I don't know, I think I'll, I think I'll have a, a cold drink actually and enjoy a bit more sunshine. But thank you for watching this channel. Um, please remember that um, if you uh, like this channel, you want to keep, be kept in touch, press the subscribe button and um, don't forget that. Um, we have a tremendous amount of stock down at our Portsmouth warehouse and the chances are that whatever you need we've got anyway so please give us a give us a call or go on to our, our website either way we'd be glad to be of service to you so for now enjoy your ham radio from me G3OJV take care see you again soon bye